20 of the most beautiful dog breeds in the world. We've listed 20 of the most beautiful dog breeds in the world. They aren't in any particular order we're already sure to get enough pushback on the list as is. If we had put them in order, number 15 would certainly rank much higher on the list. Number 1. Samoyeds Few dogs have a prettier coat than the Samoyed. Long, dense, and fluffy, these gorgeous white coats help the breed's ancestors stay warm in their Siberian homeland. But this makes the breed somewhat poorly suited for places with hot summers, and they need regular grooming. However, those who live in cool climates and are willing to pay for regular trips to the groomer will surely find Samoyeds to be wonderful and loving companions. They must be kept busy, as these dogs were bred to work, but they are very affectionate with their families and typically get along with everyone they meet. Number 2, Australian Shepherd. The multicolored and fluffy coats of Australian Shepherds grant them instant access to the beautiful dog club, and they often have striking eyes to boot. Their coats shed heavily and do require a fair amount of maintenance, but they don't require quite as much as some of the other long-haired breeds. Be sure you're ready for a high-energy dog if you select an Aussie Shepherd these little guys and girls can run for days, and they won't be happy with couch potato parents. Left to their own devices, these dogs can be a bit destructive. Number 3, Pomeranian. Go ahead, look at a Pomeranian and try not to smile I'll bet you can't do it. Pomeranians are obviously very pretty dogs who have very dense and attractive coats. Which requires surprisingly little maintenance compared to some other long-coated breeds, but they also have plenty of personality, which makes them even more endearing. In fact, Pomeranians are rather intelligent dogs who are easier to train than most other tiny breeds. They aren't especially friendly with strangers, and you'll want to watch them closely around kids, but they are quite loving with their families. Number 4 Chow Chow a chow with a full, well-kept coat is a sight to behold. They have a fairly lion-like appearance, as the long fur around their heads and shoulders resembles a mane. And while chows may not have faces you'd call classically beautiful, their permasquint is pretty darn cute. Chows are a bit aloof, and unfortunately, they aren't exactly cuddly. They keep to themselves more than many other breeds, and they won't hesitate to wander off and explore the world. But, while these traits may not be ideal for all owners, chows are great pets for those who spend lots of time away from the home. Number 5. Poodle. 
Personally, I think of poodles as cute, more than, beautiful, but that's simply another example of the subjective nature of aesthetic beauty. Poodles have some of the most fabulous coats in the entire canine world, and they can be coiffed in any of several different ways. Poodles do require a good bit of grooming, but the final results are usually worth the effort. Despite their comical appearance, poodles are actually very intelligent dogs. They can be used for agility trials, nose work, they are often used to seek out truffles hidden on the forest floor, or anything involving water, as they love to swim. They are also fantastic therapy dogs, and standard poodles are occasionally used as guard dogs. Number 6, Saluki. If you ever have the chance to see a Saluki standing still, you'll certainly find him attractive. But don't count on it, these dogs are as energetic as they are fast, and they're happiest when running around a big field at Mach 2. In fact, many of their most attractive physical features their elongated snout, light body, and elegant tail help make them especially well suited for a high throttle lifestyle. Given their nature, it is important to think carefully before adding one of these pups to your family. They're very endearing dogs who love flopping their fluffy ears on your lap from time to time, but they can be tricky to train, and they need acres of fence in space to roam. Number 7, Maltese. The Maltese is a very elegant breed, with a flowing white coat that pulses with each tiny step. Their magnificent coats turn heads wherever they go, and their lovable personalities help them make quick friends with everyone they meet. Although they may look a little fancy, Maltese are actually pretty rugged little canines whose bravery belies their diminutive size. They're smart and easy to train, and they're adventurous too. However, as you'd expect from dogs with full-length, floor-touching coats, Maltese require regular grooming time. Number 8, Afghan Hound It's hard to confuse an Afghan Hound for anything else there just aren't many other breeds that exhibit the same combination of a light, elegant build with such a remarkably long and silky coat. Their long faces are also quite distinctive, making them simultaneously pretty and a bit strange. Like the Saluki and Greyhound, the Afghan Hound was originally used as a sight-hunting breed, who would run down swift prey with relative ease. So, you're going to have to provide an Afghan with plenty of room to run. You'll also find that they're a bit difficult to train. But, if you can cope with these challenges, you'll probably love their affectionate and sweet nature. Number 9, Irish Setter Clad in flowing, silky coats that range from red to mahogany to strawberry blonde, Irish Setters are beautiful without being stuffy. And even if they weren't so pretty, they'd still be popular pets, given their fun and outgoing personalities. They're energetic, enthusiastic, friendly, and sweet, and they cause just enough trouble to keep you on your toes. In most respects, Irish setters and Irish setter mixes are like other bird dogs. They're smart and easy to train, they're always ready to make friends, and they'll destroy your everything you own if you don't give them enough attention and exercise. 
but big families who love going to the park will usually love adding an Irish setter to their family. Number 10. Ferro Hound Ferro hounds are probably hit or miss with many dog lovers you either think they're handsome or a bit odd looking. In either case, everyone can agree that the Ferro Hound is a unique breed, they are also one of the most expensive dog breeds around. They often bear a comical and slightly bizarre expression, which only makes them more lovable or strange, depending on your tastes. Short-haired, big-eared, and graceful, these dogs were bred to run down big prey and hunt alongside their owners. But, unlike many similarly built breeds, these pups are affectionate with their people and don't have the never-ending reservoirs of energy some other zippy hunting dogs do. Feral hounds aren't terribly common, but they can make very good pets even for first-time owners. Number 11. Weimar Anner Known to many as the Silver Ghost, the Weimar Anner is a very striking breed with an instantly recognizable gray coat. But while this would make some dogs look cold, Weimar runners have soft and sympathetic eyes that can melt even the coldest hearts. They look somewhat like a more refined version of a Labrador Retriever, but, unlike Labs, Weimar runners are demanding pets, who aren't great for inexperienced owners. Weimar runners are smart, sweet and easy to train, but they must be provided with plenty of exercise to prevent them from developing destructive tendencies. And despite their beautiful, short-haired coats, Weimar runners shed heavily, causing problems for people with allergies. Number 12. Apollon Papillons are ridiculously cute canines, who can't help but elicit smiles from everyone they encounter. They have glorious silky coats, sweet eyes, and an expression that'll make you forget all of your worldly troubles. But the most remarkable things about these little buggers are their tufted ears, which are typically held upright for maximum adorableness. Though well-behaved, the Papillon isn't really a lap dog, and you'll need to keep yours busy to keep him happy. Fortunately, they're fun little pups, who are smart and learn pretty quickly. In fact, many Papillons excel at agility trials, and they look too cute for words while doing so. Number 13, Shiba Inu The combination of the Shiba Inu's round head, small ears, and dense coat makes the breed adorable. They look absolutely snuggle-tastic, and most dog owners will undoubtedly feel compelled to provide them with plenty of praise, love, and scratches and scratches on a more or less constant basis. Fortunately, few Shiba Inus will object. Shiba Inus come in a few different colors, including red, black and tan, and green. They do shed a lot, but they don't require very much grooming. Shiba Inus are loving animals, but they actually handle being alone better than many other breeds so they offer particular value to those who work long hours. Number 14, Alaskan Malamute If you like dogs that look like wolves, you'll love the Alaskan Malamute. 
Like wolves, they're muscular, big and covered in a long, thick coat, their upright ears complete the look. Their coats also feature a mixture of white, gray, and black tones, which also helps accentuate their wolf-like appearance. However, with all due respect to wolves, most dog lovers will agree that Malamutes are the more attractive of the two. Unfortunately, Malamutes are relatively high-maintenance dogs, who not only require regular grooming but plenty of stimulation, interaction, and exercise. They're not the best choice for first-time owners, but they can make excellent companions for those experienced owners who have the time and energy to devote to them. Number 15 Rottweiler Many people find Rottweilers intimidating, but if you look past their impressive muscles and no-nonsense disposition, you can't help but find them beautiful. Clad in a short to medium length black and tan coat. Rottweilers may lack the silky fur and eye-catching gaze of some other breeds, but they make up for it with a set of yellow-brown eyes that'll melt your heart. And while they're handsome animals, their personalities make them even more beautiful in the eyes of their owners. They're ferociously protective of their families, but they turn into affectionate piles of snuggles and smooches when the opportunity presents itself. Rot is can, however, be a handful, and they're not a good choice for first-time owners. They can also be prone to weight gain, so be sure to select a good food for your Rottweiler. Number 16, Great Dane. Lots of breeds are attractive, but few actually. None share the Great Dane's combination of size and beauty. Often recognized as the largest breed in the world, Great Danes are most famous for their gargantuan bodies, but they're also quite pretty too. They may not have the flowing coat of an Irish setter or the body contours of a Rottweiler, but they have a dignified beauty that is quite impressive to behold. However, the Great Danes' tendency to produce buckets of drool offsets their dignified appearance somewhat, and it may be enough to convince some would-be owners to select another breed. Obviously, you'll need to give your Great Dane plenty of space, they are too big for apartment life, but they actually have rather modest exercise requirements. Number 17 Doberman Dobermans are obviously great looking dogs, but their size, powerful posture, and pointy ears often elicit a bit of trepidation in those who've never met one before. Personally, I think of poodles as cute, more than, beautiful, but that's simply another example of the subjective nature of aesthetic beauty. In fact, they're quite sensitive, and a harsh word from their owner can make them cower and hide. But before you run out and add one of these beautiful dogs to your family, be aware. You don't want a Doberman if you aren't ready to cuddle. Despite their large size, most Dobermans love to crawl right up on their owner's lap and settle in for some much-deserved praise and petting. Number 18, Dalmatian. Some may consider the polka dot-like pattern of Dalmatians cute or comical rather than beautiful, but they're so iconic and photogenic that we had to include them among the other beauties on this list. Although they're most famous for accompanying firefighters, they're actually well-rounded dogs, 
who also excel in hunting and agility contexts. Dalmatians are full of energy, so you'll need to provide them with plenty of exercise, and a great Dalmatian dog food. You don't want to keep one cooped up in an apartment, they need plenty of room to run, jump, and play. They actually make great running partners, and they'll normally be willing to keep going long after you've decided to call it a day. Number 19, German Shepherd. As one of Hollywood's favorites, the German Shepherd has probably graced the big and small screen more often than any other breed. Their intelligence and work ethic certainly make them well suited for this type of work, but the real reason they are so popular is quite simply, they're gorgeous. German Shepherds have a gentle, loving facial expression that contrasts nicely with their wolf-like coat and build. They come in a variety of colors, ranging from all white to all black and everything in between. Unfortunately, this beautiful coat sheds profusely, so you'll want to take them out and give them a vigorous brushing once a week or so. Number 20, Akita. Akitas are imposing dogs, with broad shoulders and a muscular build that exudes strength and competence. But, their ultra-dense and fluffy coats soften this image a bit and help to create one of the world's most attractive breeds. Historically, Akitas were used for a variety of very serious tasks, ranging from boar hunting to guard dog work, but they are typically kept as pets in the modern world. Akitas come in a few different color patterns, but most are a mix of brown, gray, black, and white. Their coats are perfect for petting, but unfortunately, they are heavy shedders and droolers. Akitas don't always tolerate children well, so early socialization and exposure are important. Thank you for watching.